Hi, welcome to Mark's English Academy, the place to learn English fast. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you two of the hardest sounds in the English language, l and r. But I'm also going to teach you two pretty easy sounds, h and n. Okay, these sounds are very hard, and I'm sorry about that. These sounds in English are pronounced very differently than they are in other languages around the world. And even within English, these sounds can be pronounced very differently depending on which country you go to. For example, this R sound, R, so in Canada and the United States, we would say rrr. But if you go to England, you hear people say ah, ah, like in the word ear. Okay, I would say ear. They say ia, ia. Okay, so that's very different. But I'm going to teach you how I pronounce it. Okay, so let's start with the sound l, l. Now, when you pronounce this sound, I want you to bring your tongue further forward than you might be comfortable with. Okay, I want you to put the tip of your tongue between your teeth. You're not used to making the l sound with your tongue so far forward. Okay, but in English, your tongue comes between your teeth. Not, not far out. You don't, need to, you don't need to stick out your tongue. Just put it a little bit in between your top and bottom teeth. Oh. Okay? So the tip of your tongue is between your teeth. And then I want you to, to focus on making the sound in the back of your mouth. Oh. Oh. So the back of your tongue goes up a little bit. It becomes bigger, right? So if this is your mouth, here are your teeth, and this is your, this is your tongue, okay? When most languages make the L sound, they say it like this, L, L. They put the tip of their tongue behind their, their top teeth, like this, L, L. But in English, we put our tongue forward and the back of our tongue up a little bit. So, oh, oh, and the sound is made from here, not from here. Okay, so I want you to, to try that right now. Think about it. Oh, oh, not l, l. Like in, in most languages, like Spanish or Hindi, they say l, l. Okay, you need to put your tongue forward and make your tongue big in the back. Almost like, oh, like uh, you're trying to swallow it maybe, or it's, it's too big that you can't swallow anything. Okay, oh. Oh, you're actually almost blocking your, the back of your tongue is almost touching the top of your throat. Oh, that's how far back the sound is made. Okay, now Chinese people have a very hard time making this sound when it comes at the end of words. They can say it at the beginning of words, but for some reason, they can't say it at the end of words. Like in the word vegetable. Vegetable. Okay. Oh. They say vegetable. 
vegetable. So they can't say the L at the end of the word. Well, you can try. Some Chinese people can if they practice, but I know lots of Chinese people and almost none of them can say it correctly. You need to listen very carefully and practice a lot. Okay, so when they say it, vegetable, vegetable, they think the sound needs to keep coming out the front of the mouth. But in fact, the L sound is made back. So try to, to think about bringing the sound back. Vegetable, vegetable. Or for example, in the word whistle, whistle, like that's what it means to whistle. Okay, whistle. It's not whistle. Whistle. It's whistle. 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 Okay. Uh, it's. I know it's very hard, but if you can think about bringing the sound back, oh, uh, it's it's made at the back of your throat. It's not made. He, anywhere in the front of your mouth, okay? So you don't need to worry about your lips. Just let your lips mm, rest normally. Oh, oh, whistle. Okay, your lips don't need to do anything. Just try to remember to bring your tongue forward a little bit and your back of your tongue up and make it big, whistle. Okay, so the second sound, rrr, rrr. Now, this is probably the hardest sound maybe around the world for uh, non-native English speakers to learn because in most languages, they roll their Rs. For example, in Spanish or Hindi, they, they roll it and that means rrr. That's what it means to roll your R. Okay, like my name would be Mark, Mark, Mark. In English, we don't have that sound. In English, we don't have anything even, even similar to that sound. We don't have it. We have rrr, rrr. So what I want you to remember with the sound is that your tongue doesn't move while you're making the sound. It's not r. Your tongue stays in the same place. R. R. So I want you to imagine uh, that your lips are a small square. A small square. Try to make your lips into a small square. R. R. And then bring your tongue back. Your tongue curls back, okay? Here's your mouth, here's your teeth, here's your tongue. Rrr, rrr. It, it, rrr, rrr. It, your tongue, the tip of your tongue goes down and the back of your tongue goes up. Rrr, rrr. It's, it's a very weird position for your tongue to be in. Rrr. It's so different than rrr, when your tongue is forward. You have to bring the tip of your tongue back and down. Rrr, rrr. So it's almost like the sound L in that it's a little bit more back. Rrr, rrr. Oh, rrr. Yeah, it's, it's, these are very different sounds in English than they are in other languages. Okay, I hope, I hope that helps to imagine that your tongue, uh, I hope my showing you on my hands helps you to think about where your tongue should go. Okay, so in both of these sounds, the back of your tongue goes up. Okay, just listen, listen to me and try to make it. Okay, let's read this and uh, and practice. 
I tried to think of some words with the L and the R sound uh, to help us practice. Okay, so Myrtle, so Myrtle is the name of a, a woman or a girl. Well, actually, it's not very common nowadays. It's a very old-fashioned woman's name. Okay, so maybe don't name your, maybe don't name your daughter Myrtle or maybe some of her friends at school will laugh at her. Okay, this is would this would be uh, maybe a, a woman's name one or two hundred years ago. So it's a very old-fashioned name. So Myrtle. 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 All right. Myrtle is the middle child of three girls. Red and lavender are her favorite colors in the whole world. Okay, so we have Okay, I'm sure you're saying it perfectly by now. Uh, just practice. I think the more you practice and the more you listen and, and try to, to move your tongue around a little bit, uh, I think you'll get it. Practice makes perfect. Okay, next I'm going to teach you two sounds that are much easier. But first, it's sponsor time. This lesson is brought to you by Nobody. Instead of watching me play along to Dave Matthews on my balalaika, you could be watching me promote your product or service. Okay, these two sounds are probably the easiest sounds in English. Look at the first one. <sighs> this sound is so easy because you say it all the time when you breathe. <sighs> so you say this sound thousands of times every day and also when you laugh ha 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 okay it's just you push air out of your lungs so it's it's very easy okay so i won't need to teach you that one uh, the second one is is really easy as well you just block the back of your throat with your tongue mm. Look, here's the back of your tongue. Mm. Just block it and make a sound. Mm. Mm. And then you'll feel some vibrations up in your nose and sinus area. This area, these are called your sinuses inside here. And your, your nasal, this is called your nasal area. So it's a very nasally sound. Mm. Mm. It almost makes your, your nose itchy if you say it uh, too long. Mm. All right. So very easy sounds there. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's read this sentence and then I want to, to show you something about this sound here. Okay, so Hannah the happy hippo and Hank, the angry mongoose, sang a long song in the jungle. Okay, so actually, this sound, mm, I forgot to put a two here. There should be a two over the N. Hank, mm, Hank. 
Okay, so Hannah, the happy hippo, and Hank, the angry mongoose, sang a long song in the jungle. A mongoose is a small animal that kills snakes. <clears throat> a mongoose, actually, I don't know if a mongoose eats a snake, but it kills us. It can kill a snake. I've seen it. Um, I've seen it in Pakistan, actually. So in Pakistan, they have mongoose and cobra fights. Now, a cobra is a snake, a snake that stands up like this. Okay, they're very dangerous snakes, so don't get near them. But um, for example, if you go to the beach in uh, the city of Karachi, uh, you'll often see people. Uh, they'll in their they'll be carrying a big backpack, and in their well, in their backpack like thing, they have a mongoose and a cobra. Okay, so you pay them some money, and then you can watch a mongoose and a cobra fight. And the mongoose kills the cobra. It's, it's pretty crazy to watch. Anyway, so that's a mongoose. Uh, okay, so when the, the, the sound N, N, when it comes before a K, then, or before a G, then it usually changes to the sound N. Okay, so from N to N. So the sound N is made by putting the tip of your tongue behind your front teeth. N. So all you do to make the sound N is you move your tongue from here N, mm, N, mm, N. Mm. All right, so Hank, angry, mongoose, <clears throat> sang, long, song, jungle. Now, uh, one thing I want to, to mention is that when you see these two letters, N, G, when you see them together in a word, if it's at the end of the word, it just makes the n sound, like sang. But if you see them in the middle of a word, it usually makes the n sound and an extra g sound, okay? Like angry, so angry. So there should almost be an extra g. Angry, mongoose, uh, jungle. Okay, so uh, so most of the time when the ng is in the middle of a word, it makes ng. All right, uh, but sometimes that's not the case. For example, look at these two words. Okay, here we have hunger, hunger, and here we have hanger, hanger. So this is a hanger. This, you, you hang your clothes on a hanger. It's not a hanger. It's just a hanger. So, you know, there's only one letter difference, but we say it very differently. Hanger and hunger. That's English. Welcome to the world of English that doesn't make any sense. But I'm trying to make it make sense uh, that's why I started my company to try to help you learn English fast. So I hope uh, you enjoy these lessons. If you do, click on the like button down there so that more people can uh, can watch these lessons too. Um, and yeah, that's that's it for this lesson. Uh, if you didn't know how to pronounce the sounds l and r correctly, then click on that like button right down there, and I'll see you over in the next lesson. Take care.